Hello friends and welcome back to Orash YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can convert any man or woman into a snake man or woman. So without any further ado, let's get started. Requesting all units back up, send everyone you got. Okay, I have this image of Alexandra Daddario opened in Nairobi for a shop and the first thing we will do is cut out a snake tongue. You can find an image on Google of a snake tongue or any kind of website if you search. The next thing we will do here is we are going to select the tongue. So what is the best method for selecting this kind of thing? Well, I guess you can either create your own snake tongue using the pen tool and tracing this snake tongue or you can try selecting this one. So I will select this one and put it on the original image. The best method for selecting this kind of thing is you can do this with the polygonal lasso tool but in this case I think the quick mask mode is better. So I will press Q for quick mask mode. You can tell if you are in quick mask mode by seeing here this icon is now selected. This is the button by pressing this you can enable or disable the quick mask mode or by double clicking this you can get to the options of the quick mask mode here it says masked areas but we want it to be on selected areas instead of masked areas and you can also configure the color of your mask i think if the object is red then we can switch to the green color by clicking the red color and choosing a green color of or liking then click OK. You can also set the opacity for the color and click OK. So by pressing Q you will get into the quick mask mode and as you can see here the layer turns green or red depending on the color of your quick mask. Now in the quick mask mode you can always brush for selecting. So I will press B on my keyboard to switch to the brush and increase or decrease the brush size with the brackets. Now I will select the tongue. Don't worry if you make a mistake as you can always fix that by raising the mask with the white color. So if I press X on my keyboard, my foreground color will switch to the white color. And that is only if my foreground and background colors are set to black and white. So I think I have enough of the tongue selected. Now it's time to clear the mistakes. By pressing X I will switch to the white color as my foreground color. And now carefully I will paint on those areas which I don't want. For example this area here, here and here and you can press X once again to switch your foreground color to black to select the areas which you want and paint with the white on the areas which you don't want. So this is a pretty top selection. I think I need to reduce the size of my brush and make sure you are always painting with 100% opacity which can be set in the options bar and 100% flow as well. And make sure by right clicking the hardness of the brush is set to almost 0% or somewhere like 20%. Now I think I have a pretty good selection so I will zoom out by pressing Ctrl 0 then to get out of the quick mask I will press Q once again. This will create our selection. Now we can press Ctrl C to copy this and go back to the original image. Paste it here by pressing Ctrl V and place it where we want it to be. Then the next thing here is selecting the background or the original image. Press Ctrl U for the hue saturation dialog box and here check this colorize box and move the hue to somewhere around 195 and saturation somewhere around 44 
and the lightness should be around zero. I think I need to set the hue to something like this greenish color so it is 171 instead. I think this color is ok. Now I will click ok to change the color of the original image. Next we need to remove the teeth so we will select the background layer. So make sure the background layer is selected and with the polygonal lasso tool by pressing L I will select the polygonal lasso tool and select the teeth. You don't have to be really perfect here. So now it is selected. Make sure your foreground color is set to black. I will set it to black by clicking this icon to switch the colors and press Alt Backspace on my keyboard to fill this with black for the foreground color. I will press Ctrl 0 once again to zoom out. Now the final step here is you have to change the eyes as well, eye color. So I will create a new layer by pressing this little icon in the layers panel which will create a new layer and with the elliptical mark E tool I will select the iris by pressing alt st I can transform the selection as well I think it's okay press enter and by pressing G I will select the gradient tool and in the options bar make sure your gradient is yellow to black if it is not you can always click here then change this color by double clicking to yellow and then this color to black then click ok now we have to make sure this is set to radial gradient and draw from the center towards the right side or the left side to create a radial gradient press ctrl D for deselecting and V for the move tool and in the blending options we will set the blending mode of this layer to I think overlay is good enough but you can play with other modes as well I think overlay or vivid light will work so okay I will set it to overlay now we need to duplicate this to the other eye as well so here is a shortcut key for duplicating anything in Adobe Photoshop you can press and hold down the alt key on your keyboard while dragging anything with your mouse when the move tool is selected. So it will create a duplicate copy of that iris lens. Now you can press ctrl 0 and if you want you can add another curves adjustment layer to make it a little bit dark. So I will go to the layers panel and click this layer adjustment icon, click curves and that will open the curves adjustment layer dialog box. I will drag it down to make it a little bit dark. I think this suits the looks of the image. So let me show you the before. To switch to the original image you can press F12 on your keyboard to revert. So I will press F12. Here was the before and by pressing Ctrl Z here is the after. So hope you liked today's video. Make sure you are a subscriber of Orash YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video.